Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you are new, my name is Sarah and I'm so glad that you're here. I make lots of what's for dinner videos as well as lots of other lifestyle, mommy content, plus size fashion, beauty, all that type of stuff. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Sarah England. And today's what's for dinner video is a long time coming, it's been a while since I uploaded one, but honestly, since school has been back in session and life has taken over, it has been hard. And you're gonna see that in this video that a lot of these dinners are really, really easy they're really quick and they're budget friendly because that's all of the three categories that I am looking for right now, especially on a weeknight where I have to get dinner on the table fast and I'm already exhausted from the day. So I hope these dinners are um, inspire you and fill your little tummies if you're looking for something new to try. And this What's For Dinner is really special because it is a huge collab What's For Dinner with a bunch of different women here on YouTube. A lot of them I'm able to call such good friends here that have meant so much to me and has helped me through so much on my YouTube journey as well as lots of new friends that I've been able to meet. I love them. I hope you enjoy this and if you're looking for a ton of dinner in, um, inspiration, this playlist is where it's at. I will have it linked down below and I'm so glad and thankful that I can be a part of this and I hope that you um, enjoy all of the videos as well. Make sure you go and check them out and um, subscribe to a bunch of these women and just support them and love them and encourage them and thank you guys so much. So if you found me from the playlist, thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you think about sticking around for a while. So let's get on to the dinners. So the first meal we have is this Smithfield fresh pork loin filet. This is the applewood and smoked bacon flavor. They have a bunch of different flavors and different seasonings and they're really inexpensive. I just got this from Walmart um, and you literally just throw it in the oven at 375 for 30 to 40 minutes. It's the easiest thing to cook and it is the most tender, moist thing that we have had in so long. It was amazing. Um, I just made some uh, roasted asparagus along with it. I'm using this Kinder seasoning blend. It's really coarse. It has like um, pepper, garlic, salt. It's amazing. It's delicious. I love trying new seasonings. I get super excited when I see them in the store. Does anybody else do that besides me? I don't know. I really like it. Later, I did top this with some um, minced garlic on top at the end of the cooking. Um, and here it is. Everything just came together super fast, super easy. We intended to have potatoes on the side of it, but I honestly ran out of time. So I made some fresh coleslaw. And that was the perfect adding to it, and you'll see that in a second. Um, we used this barbecue sauce on top. This is Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Chipotle sauce. It was delicious. It was the first time we tried this one, and even the girls really liked it. And here is the final result. This was such an easy, budget-friendly, and quick meal for a busy weeknights, which have been totally kicking my butt lately. Um, highly, highly recommended. Even my girls liked it, despite their apprehensive faces right here. They both loved it. I definitely recommend this, and I can't wait to try the other their, um, flavors and seasonings of that pork loin um, because this was an so absolute So we are making hit. dinner tonight. Um, I thought I would just do a quick overview of what we are making. I've made this many a times on my channel. I got this from Mandy in the Making. It was one of her subby suppers and one of you actually said that it was yours recipe that you sent in and we love it. I make it so often so I'm not going to go into too much detail about it because I make it so often on this channel. But I'm just taking some thin sliced chicken breast and then I'm using this sauce um, to kind of bind the french fried onion. So it's french fried chicken, french fried onion chicken. And in here I have mayo, garlic powder, salt, pepper. And today I put some Worcestershire sauce in here um, just to add a little something, a little something different. So uh, we're gonna spread that all over the chicken breasts and then we're going to um, press these up. These are just fresh, french fried onions from Walmart. We're just gonna crush, 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 crush. It's been a long day, guys. It's been a long day. We're gonna crush these and we're gonna dip um, the mayoed, that sounds gross, but the, you know, the chicken covered in the sauce. They're gonna go in here. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, and then on the side, we're having some gemstone potatoes, little potatoes. Oh, from Idaho? Grown in Idaho. Anyway, we're gonna roast these and I have this new seasoning to try out. It's the Red Hot Stingin' Honey Garlic Seasoning Blend from Frank's. It is really yummy. It is a little bit spicy, but it's nice and sweet. 
So I'm gonna try to probably do it only on half of them so the girls can have the other half so it's not too spicy for them, but I think this would be really good on top of them. And then we're also having some green beans and then as you know, it's zucchini because I love it. And we'll have that on the side too. So let's get going. All right, so this is how the chicken, uh, ignore this. It has been being a little dull and getting the, <laughs> getting the potatoes done. <laughs> anyway, this is what they look like when you coat them. They are top and bottom coated. Um, this one is the least coated. So I definitely would recommend, this is only three chicken breasts. So I definitely would recommend doubling the French onions if you're making more than three because you just won't have enough. Anyway, I'm about to pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes or so. We'll check, they're pretty thin. This was the thickest, but these two are pretty thin. My kids are going through their teenage years already at the age of three and the age of five, so please pray for us. I'm gonna pop these in for dinner. All right, I'm just gonna roast these potatoes that we got going. Excuse the camera work. The most professional once for dinner video, I tell ya. Um, I honestly had no idea they made purple potatoes. My husband would not eat them because he was so freaked out by them. <laughs> um, they were delicious. I will say, I feel like these potatoes gave a lot more of a moisture off. I wish I had roasted them longer. So next time if I get these, I definitely will roast them and pat them dry a bit more. Um, because I felt like they retained a bit more moisture than my normal like golden baby potatoes or regular potatoes when I roast them. But they were delicious. I just topped them with some EVOO, lots of garlic powder, um, lots of seasoning. They were amazing. Um, as you can tell, I'm using that uh, Frank seasoning and it was almost like a powdered sugar to be honest. Like the consistency was really weird. It wasn't like a um, a regular like salt type of seasoning. I don't know. I don't know how to use it next because it just didn't work the way I wanted it to but it still tasted good. It was just a weird texture. Um, this is how the chicken turned out and the whole meal. We intended to have some greens on the side but as you could tell my girls were being crazy that night so we instead had some pineapple. This was delicious. Um, it's always a crowd pleaser for us. I wanted to share with you dinner for tonight. I know this wasn't really a cook with me but this is just a really easy throw together meal. When it is the middle of the week and we are doing virtual learning, which is kicking my butt, I'm tired and exhausted and I'm looking for something simple. So I want to share this with you because I think these are really good and they're really easy to make and kid friendly. So I just took these street taco tortillas. They're the tiny little mission ones. They're really tiny and they're perfect, kid friendly, kid size. And then um, we just had some uh, pieces of battered fish fillets right here that I just roasted in the oven or baked in the oven. And then I topped it with some fresh coleslaw um, or just the slaw, not the coleslaw, just the cabbage, shredded cabbage basically. And then this sauce I used was the Great Value Boo Boom Shrimp Sauce and basically just made some like Baja shrimp tacos, or fish tacos. And they super good, really fresh tasting because of the slaw and that sauce just adds like a nice little kick and punch to it. I highly recommend just a really easy meal for the week. All right, this last recipe is definitely one that I feel like everyone and their mother shares on Pinterest, but this was incredible. I feel like I only made comfort food in this video, but mama needed it. All right, so I'm making lasagna ravioli. I'm just taking um, my favorite pasta sauce, which is the one from Great Value. I'm putting some on the bottom so that the pasta gets a coated as well as it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan using some great value cheese ravioli. This is super budget friendly and this is a meatless meal for us. I'm just popping the frozen, I didn't cook it, um, the frozen ravioli on the bottom of the, uh, or on top of the sauce and then going ahead and covering that up. Um, and then instead of using ricotta or cottage cheese or no creamy additive, I'm using cream cheese because it's amazing and delicious and tastes so good with pasta sauce. I highly recommend it. I know this is like the least attractive way to do this. This is not cute. But I just kind of softened it up, put some globs all over, mixed it up. Didn't make it perfect. Honestly, it was better when you had like random thicker bites of the cream cheese. It was so good that I just made um, a number of layers. I ended up using I think two jars of sauce. This was incredibly saucy. If you want less sauce, go ahead. Um, but we liked the two jars. Um, and then we just topped that with some mozzarella cheese, popped it in the oven for a little bit, and then halfway through the cooking, we ended up taking off 
<laughs> we end up taking off the foil and our crazy kitchen background in life. This is this is my real life, friends. Um, anyway, halfway through, I just took off the foil, and so it could kind of get a little bit more golden brown on top. And this was insanely good. It was super cheap, really easy, really fast again. That's what my life has become lately with just back to school and all the stuff on my plate this we will make again and again it was so delicious we just served it on the side with a Caesar salad um, and this heated up really well and I would imagine actually would freeze really well as well <laughs> um, highly recommend it definitely try the cream cheese it was phenomenal